that are alive, you are coming with me. Welcome to another Talking Kiki Stuff with me, Tenshi. And today I'll be talking about 80s action cinema. Oof, this is gonna be a good one. I love my 80s. If you haven't noticed, I've done plenty of 80s videos. And you probably guess it's probably my favorite decade. You know, being an 80s kid growing up, getting to teenage years, boy, I miss those those days everything was so simple back then well anyway hope you really enjoyed the intro some of the 80s movies I grew up watching here they are um, yeah the first thing you're probably wondering is I was what <laughs> becoming a teenager so I was probably by the 90s by the end of the 80s I was like 13 14 well, something like that. And you're wondering, how did I watch all these 18 certificate films? All in America is rated R. You know, um, my parents were pretty lenient about these kind of movies. And they didn't really mind. And of course, my dad, he loves watching all these <laughs> 80s movies. He's a big fan of Arnold, uh, Stallone. So he, 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 didn't mind. We, watched, we used to watch it together. I just remember learning all the swear words and taking him to school and cursing everyone. And <laughs> I was one of the first few kids who knew how to knew, say motherfucker and all of these mad swear words. And I remember the teachers in school was going, was I getting abuse? Where am I learning all these languages from? And also my local video, uh, video store, where we um, rented videos 
Western video those days. A pretty cool guy. I won't mention his name. He's a great, great guy. He, you know, we became friends later on. Really good friends. And he would, yeah, he wrote me all these uh, great movies. You know, in the 80s, you, you kind of got away with a lot of stuff, you know, and that's something I missed. And not only that, he also did, like, uh, pirated movies as well. So I remember when he, when I went to the video store, I just asked him, hey, what's new? He goes, you know, I love this one. And he he, he, really, he gave me this one. It was uh, Predator. Got a home, watched it with my dad. That was fantastic. I watched it again, literally straight afterwards. My God, that was a great film. Still is today. Yes, yes. <laughs> a lot of these movies are quite cheesy nowadays. I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Get to Chopper. You know, that has become a meme. Uh, Commando. I lied. Stallone's They Drew First Blood. Speaking about First Blood, of course, the Rambos. Fantastic action movie. I left three out because three was still good. It would have been a good trilogy if it, if it stayed a trilogy. Um, I actually watched Rambo 2 first, then went back and watched the uh, First Blood. Then, of course, you got Cobra, which was a pretty cool, cheesy action <laughs> movie, 80s, and so on. Hope everybody um, stays to the end and. Yep, like Arnie say, stick around to the end of the, the video. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, so uh, then you got like the Leaf Weapons, another great, great police partner, Mel Gibson. And uh, yeah, I watched the Leaf, uh, Leaf Weapons first, then then I discovered who he was and I went back and watched uh, Mad Max, Mad Max 2, uh, Mad Max 3, Beyond Thunderdome. Then of course, Another good one, which kind of ended the, the 80s with a good, good Die Hard. Was it 88 or 89? I oh, can't remember, but it was amazing. And of course, Die Hard started the whole genre. I mean, after that film, everything was like a Die Hard movie. Die Hard here, Die Hard there, you know. So yeah, Die Hard kind of set a trend. I mean, all of these films are pretty cheesy and, you know, funny if you watch it now. I would say the two serious films here are probably Young Guns and uh, Aliens. Young Guns is fantastic. I'm already, I wasn't sure if I was going to put it in here because it isn't sort of action movie, but it's not action action, you know. But it's still a great, fantastic. It's actually my favorite Western movie. You know, I'm not a big fan of Western movies, but I mean, I tried watching uh, Clint, Eas Clint Eastwood ones. I just couldn't get into them. But with Young Guns, I did. He had that kind of modern feel to it at that time. Then of course, Robocop, the awesome movie. I mean that, when I first watched that, had to re rewind the tape, watch it again. I remember having dreams that I would I would get shot up. And then, then my dad was sent me to the hospital this and I woke up with all these kind of cybernetic. <laughs> it was so cool. It was like a fantasy kind of thing. Awesome. And of course, Aliens. Fantastic movie, um, director of Terminator, Terminator 2, James Cameron, one of the greatest directors. I personally think Aliens is the best one out of the whole Alien series. Uh, one was great. The funny thing with, with Alien, the first movie, I was I didn't think it was amazing at first, but when I watched the 30th anniversary, or was it 30th anniversary, or 40th anniversary, I can't remember, and uh, in the cinema and watching the big screen I thought wow this is fantastic I actually liked Alien a lot more but I still don't Alien is still my favorite one it was action intense great action and you had a female uh, female lead strong female that everyone's bang on about you know, these days they had one back then you know, so Golly Wood was fantastic you know when I, when I watched it, I didn't even, didn't come to my mind she's a woman. I mean, we knew she was a woman, but, you know, after watching one and two, the natural evolution, that she'd become a natural leader. You know, there's no big fuss. It just, yeah, she's she's great. And it makes sense why she led and so on. She, she had this, the most experience. 
So these are some of my <laughs> favorite action movies. And there's more, of course. You got, like I said, there's there's Conan, the, you know, the Conan Barbarian, Conan Destroyer, corny but fun. You know, you got you what else you got? You got Red Heat, Arnold Schwarzenegger. That was fun. Um, Red Heat. What else you got? Um, Running Man. Oh, that was a good one. I mean, it wasn't as good as Command or Terminator or Predator. I mean, Predator is still. Ooh, that is probably my favorite Arnie movie in the eighties. Because I was going to say Terminator Two there, but Terminator Two is ninety one. So, but overall. I would say Terminator 2 is my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, but Predator was my favorite Arnold 80s movie. Then you got Stallone, he's done his fair share, Rambo Trilogy, of course, Cobra Bros. Yeah, that Tango and Cash with uh, Kurt Russell, which was a fun movie again. The Rocky films, fantastic. So, yeah, if you haven't seen these films, please do watch them. And I think they're great, still great, holds up to his time. Yeah, they're a bit corny, a bit cheesy. You know, the short films, you know, I mean, a lot of movies nowadays go on for, what, two, two hours, ten minutes, two hours, twenty minutes, two hours and a half. You know, these films, you'd be lucky back then to get, like, anything over two hours. I mean, the longest film here is Aliens. And that's, what, 135 minutes? And that is considered short in today's standards, you know, compared to, like I said, an average movie nowadays is about 135, 140 minutes. Back then, 135 minutes was a long movie, so you can get through two movies in a day, you know, and still have some time left. Well, anyway, I'd like to say thank you, and please give this video a like. Let me know if you like 80s movies, and if you did, do you like the kind of rated R 18 adult, mo uh, adult action movies, or do you prefer that uh, PG? 12. Then again, there was no 12. In the UK, PG-13 is uh, 12 here. And 12 didn't come into like 89, 90. I can't remember, but I might do a video of like the PG action movies later on. So yeah, please let me know what you think, which 80s movies you, you liked and you still watch. And do they stand the test of time? Thank you. And please consider subscribing, subscribing to more Talking Geeky, geeky Stuff. I'd like to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And of course, please stay safe. Goodbye. I'll be back.